Hello, I'm Precious Wayne Peaks, owner of Anointed for Prosperity Bookkeeping and more. And today I just wanted to hop on and talk a little about multiple streams of income. We have got to make these streams make sense. So it's very heavily pushed, have multiple streams of income. I totally agree. I am a person with multiple streams of income. But over the years, I've learned that the old adage applies to this. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. So when you're looking to add your additional streams of income, you need to make them make sense. I am bringing this to you just for uh, thought, pro thought process triggering some thought when we're going out to find these. Um, some call them side hustles, some call them gigs, whatever you may call your additional stream of income. Research before you do it. Educate yourself in that area before you do it. Some highly um, recommended additional streams of income of course, is investment. Right now, while the stock market is in a very shifty place, you may want to be careful. But under normal, normal circumstances, stock, investment in stock, and setting up annuities, setting up CDs, interest-bearing accounts, investing in commodities, uh, purchasing gold, silver, rare jewels, uh, purchasing foreign currency used to be good, but now it's fading away because everyone's moving to a digital process. Cryptocurrency is up and down like stock, but is also an additional stream of income that can be very lucrative if you invest correctly. Be careful before you hop on a multi-level marketing situation. They're heavily pushed, they're all over the place, they're all over the internet, they're all over Facebook. For $49.99, for $39.99, for $29.99, you can this, 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 this. Be careful. Because a lot of times the advertisement will say that you will make 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 in the next 90 days. And it turns out to not necessarily be so easy if you ever hit the number. So research. If you want to have multiple strings of income, let them be something that you have more control over that you don't have to pay someone else a monthly fee for them to give you a portion of the money. So here's a few examples for those of you in business. If you are a tax preparer and you would like to add additional streams of income, one of the first things that you may want to consider is bookkeeping or accounting. Take a class. Get some software because the accounting process, the bookkeeping process, flow directly into the tax process. You may want to consider tax planning. You may want to consider financial planning or budgeting. Make it make sense. If you're a barber or a beautician, of course, hair products brushes, combs, courses in which you teach technique, consultation on how you teach others how to go through the licensing process and the shop opening process. These types of things make sense. Multiple streams of income that circle together and make sense. You may not want to add 
dog walking if you're, we'll say, a doctor. Because your schedule circulates around the time that the poor doggies need to be walked. This doesn't make sense. But if you're younger and maybe your one of your streams of income is call center, bookkeeping, something that has you tied to a desk, and maybe you have children, a side hustle of dog walking or an additional stream of income of dog walking may come in handy because you'll be able to get your exercise. You can take the kids and it's time that you can spend kind of in woosah mode after having been tied down to your computer all day. So I just want you to remember multiple streams of income need to make sense. They also need to make money. So if you have a list that reads kind of like track, travel agent, notary, treat maker, dog walker, stump hopper, tax preparer, I want you to take your list, take a piece of paper, write down each stream of income, write under it the pros and cons of each. And at the very bottom, write down how much you have made from January 1st to whatever day you're watching this video. And if it is under $500, because we're in five, we're at five months now. If it's under $500, you may want to rethink that stream of income. You may want to put some type of notation on it. The, tonate, the notation needs to be something like need to make a decision, need to make a change. Because maybe you need to change the process, maybe you need to change the advertising, maybe you need to change something, or maybe you just need to cut that one off. That's time you could use for self-care. Because if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. You're just saying that it just gives you the ability to say you have a stream of income, but it's not a stream of income if it doesn't make income. If it costs you $39.99 a month, and then it takes you phone time, it takes you emailing time, it takes you posting time, and it only brings in $100 a month, you're at a loss right now. And kind of go through the list. The one that makes the most money, definitely begin to invest in yourself in growing in that area. Because if it's already making money, as you grow in that area, as you begin to promote more in that area, as you begin to learn more about that topic, it will bring more money. And then look at it and say, when I do this, this makes sense next to it and try doing what makes sense. Doing what makes sense eliminates stress, allows you more time left for family and self-care, leaves you more time left for worship and learning new things. So definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you have multiple streams of income. Make sure if you invest in stocks, cryptocurrency, or anything of that nature, that you're watching the trends, that you're paying attention, that you're watching the news, reading the papers, and keeping up with the financial journals, and that you're moving accordingly so that you win. If you are doing side gigs, side jobs, make them make sense. And if they don't make sense, don't be afraid to let them go. and build so that you win. Again, I am Precious Swain, owner of Anointed for Prosperity Bookkeeping and More. Yes, I have multiple streams of income, of course, but I work very hard to make them make sense.
I am educated, certified, degreed, licensed, whatever piece of paper I need to work in them, I have them. I stay away from MLMs because I believe that I need to have the education and the resources I need to be the direct source. I don't like third parties in my business or in my money. And I don't jump on things just because they're the trend. Trends fade. Trends come and go. Find something stable. Our economy is very rocky right now. Find something that's going to be stable for you. If you have any questions, if you want to set up a consult, please reach out to us at www.anointedforprosperity.com. Thank you for tuning in and have an amazing day.